What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Texas All Water Fishing. I am Ruben and today I'm going to unbox and kind of show you something new that I got. All right, so I just picked up this new reel from Sue Galing, Sue Ling, Sue Lei, Sue. Anyway, I just picked up this new reel from Sue Galing. Now, that came, comes in this really nice small box. I'm excited about it. Just got it in. And, well, actually, I already opened it. To tell you the truth, I couldn't wait for you guys. My apologies. But I just picked up this reel. This is a really nice reel. It is a very, I guess, fashion forward when you're thinking about the how eye-pleasing this reel really looks. It's going to look great on any rod. And like I said, it's very eye-catching. I mean... A lot of times people talk about baits, that baits are designed to catch fishermen, not fish. This reel is definitely designed to catch a fisherman. So before we get into the specs of this reel, let me just tell you right off what looks, what catches my eye. Now, first of all, you know, the knobs, the way they're designed, it has that cool design, that knob you see in a lot of other brands out there. The the handle itself is nice and big as far as comfort wise it's not too short not too small it's not too big where it's just like in the way because a lot of times let's face it i'm a kayak fisherman i fish in a lot of tight quarters when you sit on the kayak so i don't want something that's going to really be in my way all right so let's take a closer look at this and, and really look at some of the specs that this reel has to offer now, like I said, it is very eye-catching and very eye-pleasing, but we all know that visual aspects are really secondary to performance. Now, one of the things that I will say about this reel just straight off is that it does feel good in the hand. Now, it's pretty lightweight. It's, it's kind of what you expect in its class as far as price range. It comes in around just a little over 7 ounces. Now... One of the things that I did notice right off the bat is how the this handle and this knob feels. Now the handle is aluminum, which is great when you are combating against a lot of the wear and tear that salt water has on our equipment. And the knob is great fitting, feels great in your hand, and it has that slip resistant style texture to it. And like I said, the knob is aluminum, and on this side you have where you, you were a set and adjust your drag now the drag is 20 pound drag max which is great especially for fighting some of those bigger bigger fish now when now I'm most I primarily mostly fish out of the kayak so to me drag is isn't what it may mean to some of the other anglers out there because when you're in the kayak and you hook up to some of those big fish you automatically have a lot of drag because the fish will pull you and your kayak so drag really isn't that important to me as far as trying to max out and get some really high number and power of drag 20 20 pounds of drag is is more than what i need out there in the kayak and i will let a fish run a lot too now it does have heavy duty brass gears inside. The main gear inside is heavy duty brass and that will help combat some of the salt water in case it does take a dunk or in case water does work its way in there. But I don't see anything that would indicate too much of that. But we all know it does happen even in the higher end rails, especially if it does take a dunk. It has an O-shaped ceramic line guide which will protect the line and also give you that further cast now it reels it, it reels it reels great it's nice and smooth kind of and the little button there you can see how well that works and it comes with nine stainless steel ball bearings again that's one of the reasons why i picked this reel for from fighting against those those heavier and bigger saltwater fish now it does have a magnetic braking system with 10 magnets 
on this side it has a swing away design slide cover we'll just simply move this to open and it pops right open pretty easy and you can see its braking system there and the spool is also aluminum which again offers that lightweight and that resistant to some of the saltwater corrosion on the side here is the braking system with a dial where you can adjust so here's your drag star right here like we talked about and then here is for your spoon tension knobs which again feels feels pretty good in the hand easy to grab has a nice little texture to it so it can have that slip resistant and it comes available in both right-handed and left-handed reels so that is really a plus to me because I love fishing left-handed and let's face it when you are looking at a lot of budget-friendly reels they don't have that option overall I'm pleased with the way it looks I'm pleased with the way it feels in the hand all right so I'm gonna spool this up and we're gonna go take a look I want to feel and see the way it casts and kind of see how it performs on the water maybe you know at the neighborhood pond and maybe I'll be able to hook up to a little bass here and there but I just really want to just test this out and I think I'm gonna pair it with a tack 40 rod from Academy H2 Express and I'm gonna see and just check out how it feels all right so one of the things that I did was I paired it up to a rod that I normally use and saltwater fishing and I use it quite a lot this is a TAC 40 H2 Express TAC 40 it's a 6.9 moderate fast medium rod so I'm pretty comfortable casting and fishing with this rod so I really know what to expect typically I fish with this with either a Shimano or the Meta H2 Express Meta All right, so it took me a little bit, you know, I had these, the break was wide open and took me a minute to kind of figure out how to dial this in. I think I pretty much got it where I like it. Just take a few more adjustments, but I really like, and I'm not just saying this because I've made the purchase, but this, this rod, this reel looks great on this rod. And like I said, it's probably gonna look great on pretty much any rod. Still not really getting the distance that I want, but that's gonna come with me just dialing this in just a little more, a little more. But this thing catches, casts great, and it feels really good coming back. And it doesn't feel like a seven ounce rod. I mean, I mean, real, it really doesn't. It doesn't feel that heavy to me. Um, not that I'm saying seven ounces is heavy, but it just doesn't seem like it weighs that much. Maybe I'm working out a little bit. <laughs> all that editing, all that mouse clicking kind of got my, my biceps pretty big. But, no, it, in all honesty, I, I really like this, this reel. It, it feels great in the hand, like I said earlier. Now, being able to cast, kind of just whip that one out. And I'm not fishing with too heavy of a lure, just a little a little Cinco worm with a little bullet weight on it, a little Carolina rig, and I can zip it almost across this water. And I'm not great at casting bait casters, so somebody with a better arm for casting bait caster reels will probably have a lot more success than me. You know, I like it. I stand by Sugalene's real so far what I've liked from opening the box and putting it in my hand and tossing it a few times and casting a few times I think it's an excellent reel definitely great for the price point it's a budget friendly reel and I would recommend it from the limited experience I had I would recommend it for anybody who was looking at getting a new reel and looking to stay within the price point under $100 like I said these come there's on sale right now on Amazon for under 60 bucks I'll leave the links for everything in the description section of this video below and let me know what you think if you fish with one of their reels before let me know um, I'm also gonna probably be looking at getting their spinning reel as well and kind of maybe even touching into some of their rods that they offer and really just trying to really just check them out because they have a great lineup online they have a great lineup on Amazon 
and I know I was been excited couldn't wait to get this in but stay tuned for another video I'll have coming out I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna try to put this bad boy on some big reds you know those big old donkeys those marsh pullers I'm gonna try to get try to get on some of those big guys so we can really test out the limits of this room but thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share and until next time hopefully catch me hooking up I'm gonna keep casting out here hopefully hopefully I catch a bass here we go Ooh, dang it, he got off. Man. Dang. That was a good one. I'm not broke. Dang it. That was a real good one. Co-pro, stop it.